Good morning, Nigerians. My name is Tosin Jagade. I came into Ikiti yesterday, specifically on a fact finding mission to know what actually happened about the killings of the students of the Federal University of Year. I have read a lot online and uh, I saw a lot of politics bring, brought into the matter and I felt seeing things by myself, being an indigenous journal of the state, um, a prince from Ilogbo Ikiti. Being an indigenous of the state, I felt it's necessary to come and talk to a few people that might have better information than the politics I've seen online. Now, coming here and seeing the video I saw yesterday, I am sad, to say the least. This brutality of the Nigerian police against the youths of Nigeria protesting peacefully must stop. This brutality against the youth of Nigeria protesting must be punished. It is appalling in a democracy to see the Nigerian police shooting at young Nigerians as if it was a war front. If our police are hungry for war, the Nigerian government should please send them to Sambisa Forest. The police I saw in those videos are not meant to be in Ekiti. They should be in Sambisa Forest fighting insurgency. They should not be with us. They cannot be with us. They should be in the theater of war where Nigeria needs brutality. Nigerians do not need brutality on our future. These kids that were killed, two of them already confirmed dead, one buried already. It cannot continue. It must be punished. Politics must be completely removed from this matter. This is a matter of a massacre. Police brutality against citizens. We should remove politics. We should face the fact. We should all call on the IGP to please. It's not a matter of identification because those videos already identify the policemen that were involved. So you don't need serious investigation in this. Look at those videos. Put all the policemen in the Kiddie state, especially the one attached to the government house. Put them on a line and pick them out. And let Nigeria see that justice has been done. Justice has been served. The killing of our youths must stop. Now, for those of you seeing this video, if you think because you can afford a private university like myself, and you think that your kids are there safe, don't worry. Someday, sometimes, on the road, your kids going to that safe private university will encounter another brutal policeman that has not been cautioned when he killed the ones in the public university. And you will know that police brutality must be stopped. Please sign my petition. Let us join hand. And I'm also using this opportunity to call on the representative of the people. The man who is the House of Assembly member representing the Oya constituency. The man who is the House of Rep member representing that constituency. The senator, Ekiti not senator, Olu Adetumbi, who I know to be a very a gentleman to the core and a man of principle, should please join hands to ensure that this brutality, that there is justice. We cannot afford to treat our future like a piece of shit. Thank you.